Welcome back to What I Eat in a Day as a Plus Size Girly. Y'all, I recorded myself in my pajamas last night because I knew I had to wake up early and kind of run out the door. So I didn't think I would remember in the morning to make this little video, but I did. Here's me up at the butt crack of dawn and ready to go. Starting off strong, my friend had me try a date and I took the littlest <laughs> freaking bite. And here's me laughing because I'm like super nervous and i laugh when i'm nervous and i took like the tiniest little bite and hated it i literally gave it to her bunny rabbit which was very like cute honestly not gonna lie then we went straight to philly because i wanted to get there early so that i could you know go on with my day we got cheese steaks and cheese fries and drinks we each ate like half of it but we wanted two different things so we didn't share then we walked around this little park that i like to go to and we got some drinks and pretzels. She had never had these before, but of course we got some dips and they were awesome. I also had like three cups of coffee and that's all for today. Love you. Realistic, what I eat in a day as a 26 year old on vacation. Alex made me a cup of coffee this morning and unfortunately our creamer is expired so I had black coffee. Like when you have good quality coffee though, it still tastes so good. For breakfast, I had eggs, a sausage, and half a bagel with peanut butter and jelly. It gave me enough energy to kickstart my day. Today we were going to go explore Flagstaff. For lunch, we went to this restaurant called Northern Pines. Me, my mom, and Alex shared an appetizer. We had the spinach artichoke dip with chips. We'll always love a good spinach artichoke dip. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I saw that they had a chicken pot pie on their menu that literally just dropped like that day. It was so insanely good, so homey, so cozy. Okay, later on, we explored downtown. I had a scoop of gelato and then I also tried some of my mom's caramel apple. So we got back to the Airbnb, we did a puzzle, and then binge watched so much of Love is Blind. Got so late, and we realized we were so hungry. There was a Cane's around the corner, so I had two tenders, and then bread, and then a cane sauce. Oh, and of course, Diet Coke, cannot forget. Thank you guys for coming along. Love y'all. Bye. This is everything I eat in a day as a person over 270 pounds. I started off with a cinnamon toast crunch coffee. After that, I had some soup with some buttered toast. It was some type of Caribbean chicken, I believe, soup. For dinner, I had a taco salad with all the fixings. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day as a Happy Fat Woman. Here we go. Today was my first day off in a while, so I started a little bit later with some hummus and some wheat thins. Great combo, highly suggest. I went to go grab some things off of Facebook Marketplace and I wanted to have this little protein shake. Had to do the sniff test. It was really, really good. It was pretty gritty, but it was really delicious. I love chai. I stopped at my folks' place, so my mom had these cute little pretzel candies that she loves. And then my fiance and I went to Cheesecake Factory. We went because we wanted to celebrate the 100th birthday of the Caesar salad. So we had some bread. I had salmon Caesar. Ben had a lovely chicken sneeze and they were so delicious. We had ourselves a proper girl lunch. Caesar side of fries. I had a little Coke with lemon. Mm, delicious. Then time for a pre-dinner snack, which of course, Cheez-Its. And then I almost burnt my pizza. I had half of macaroni and cheese and half cheese slice. Speaking of slices, you knew I got a cheesecake slice. I got the salted caramel. I ate about half of it. First, I was like eating it and biting it, but it tastes like straight up gas. Like, not the good gas, but just like the gas gas, like gasoline. So now I'm just like swallowing it. Hopefully it works the same. What I ate in a day is a fat girl not focused on weight loss. I ate pretty late this day, but I had a buffalo chicken sandwich and some sweet potato fries. Then we got Panda Express because they just came out with this vegan orange chicken. So first we tried the veggie spring rolls and they were so delicious, especially with the sweet and sour sauce. 10 out of 10. Then we tried the vegan orange chicken and it was so good, guys. Literally crispy, flavorful, bomb. What I eat in a day as a 300 pounds person. I am trying to working on my portion controls and trying to post what I eat in a day daily. If you would like it to see my changes with me, feel free to follow along.
fat woman, just a little rant. I'm going to say happy fat woman because I'm happy the way I am and the way that I eat and the way that I look. And anyway, that was a lot of bar. Now it's time to eat lunch and I get this Mediterranean orza from Trader Joe's. There's some, too many olives in it. And I literally have to pick them out. It doesn't look it, but there's plenty of them to pick out like all these nasty comments I'm getting about saying that I'm happy and fat. Whatever. It's my body. It's my life. Fuck. Go kick some rocks. After work, I went and grabbed the little gordita. What I do is I change out the meat for potatoes. I add pico de gallo. It's delicious. I had the rest of orzo for dinner and then some Cheez-Its and a little piece of this maple brittle that I get from Vermont. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Thanks for letting me go on a rant. You're allowed to live in the body that you have and exist without being shamed for it. Eat a macaroon. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I decided to pick up some McDonald's. I ordered myself a large caramel frap with a steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Sadly, McDonald's forgot the egg inside of my bagel, but it's all right. I will just have a replacement for tomorrow. Also, now that I'm no longer a work-from-home girly, I will be having a bunch of these DIY Lunchables. For my lunch today, I brought myself a sliced-up mango with some tahine, turbos, walnuts, a Nutella cookie, and some Sour Patch Kids. Today for dinner, me and my boyfriend decided to pick up some Panda Express. I was so excited to try their new refreshers, and I decided to go with the watermelon mango one, and oh my god, it was so stinking good. I ordered myself a bigger plate with half chow mein, half super greens, double honey walnut shrimp, and some orange chicken. I don't know about y'all, but personally for me, Chinese food is not Chinese food without cream cheese ragoons so of course i got myself an order of those if you really made it all the way to the end of this video do me a favor go to the comments and let me know where your favorite place to get chinese food is and what do you order but yeah that is everything i had for the day like i always tell y'all that's enough about me what did you eat today let me know in the comments bye i'm at jolly b with my sweetie pie can i get a chicken joy he's vegan please so skip the cheese put some extra gravy on the side <laughs> yeah the workers really what I eat in a day as a plus size girly on an indulgent day. To kick off our anniversary celebration, we went out to breakfast. First, I got a really crispy Diet Coke to start off. Then I ordered the country omelet and toast. My husband got pancakes and a bunch of other stuff. Let me just say, I am usually the slower eater. This omelet was so good that I ate faster than my husband. My baby did have half my toast though. Then I had another Coke and we brought this to go. Then my son and I went to the store and I had a water to bring with me. I got some donut glazed almonds. Then we had steak and potatoes for dinner. We decided to take our son swimming, so after we got a treat, we split a Dr. Pepper and these cookies. Also, if you've never had these cookies from Lightning Quick, I suggest you try them. They are absolutely amazing. I had a later night, so I ended up having a couple more snacks after this. I had water and the cinnamon crunch popcorners. I also had a dark chocolate. It was a great first day to our anniversary celebration. Everything I ate for breakfast as a hungover big girl on a all-inclusive holiday. Disclaimer, if you don't like fat people eating swipe. Watermelon 10 tenths. Orange 8 tenths. Bacon on toast 2 tenths. Mini sausages 5 tenths. Cheese and ham tart 10 tenths went back for seconds.
Fried Chicken to Tough One Pet. Everything I ate on day one of my diet. 9 a.m. a banana. 12 p.m. I made spaghetti bolognese for the nursery kids. At this point, I can't lie, I was hungry as hell. So I had some too. To be honest, tips and advice needed. Because I have been struggling with dieting my whole life. A glass of water. 4 p.m. another banana. 6 p.m. dinner I had salmon and rice with veggies. I had to add gravy. I am going to be as open and honest with this series. The ups and the downs, so bear with me. And of course, a glass of Diet Coke. a 260 pound fat woman first i had some almond milk and cinnamon toast crunch with some kool-aid my boyfriend surprised me with a strawberry shake another kool-aid club sandwich from McAllister's with a pickle and some potato salad and the best lemonade one ice cream sandwich another kool-aid ended the day with two packs of teddy grams